Once upon a time, there was a poor widow and her son, Jack. All they had to live on was the milk from their cow, Milky White. But one morning, Milky White gave no milk. We'll rename him Utter's McDry Teat, Jack declared helpfully. He must be sold or we'll starve, lamented the widow stupidly. Come on, she could have turned the cow into 500 burgers. Or, with its genitalia, anus, and some old car tires, 2,000 Big Macs. So Jack went to market, swapping udders for some magic beans. His mother went seven types of ape shit and threw the beans out the window. But when Jack woke the next day, a giant beanstalk had grown. Halfway up, he encountered his friend Jill, who couldn't climb as high as he, because she had reached a glass ceiling. How satirical, noted Jack. At the very top, Jack heard the nut-shriveling cry of a giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. He was impressed by the giant's sense of smell. Jack's cologne was Blood of an Englishman by Hugo Boss. As the giant slept, Jack stole a bag of gold and hauled ass down the beanstalk. Back home, Jack found his mother mysteriously out cold in the garden. Sometime later, Jack climbed the beanstalk again and snatched the giant's hen. Lay, commanded Jack when he got home. That was a great lay, hen, said Jack, as his eavesdropping neighbors called the animal protection hotline. Hungry for one more thrill, Jack scaled the beanstalk once more, grabbing hold of the giant's golden harp, which suddenly cried out, Master! Stop harping on, quipped Jack. But the harp was a tough crowd. Jack rushed down the beanstalk as fast as he could. He hacked violently, but one does not simply chop down a shorn beanstalk. So the giant fell down and broke his crown, which is fairy tale speak for splattered his brains everywhere and they all lived happily ever after. And Jack went on to enjoy many more great lays with the hen. Click here for old feline rectal heat, which is of course the tale of Cinderella. Till next time on Twisted Fairy Tales, subscribe here.